Hi, Jeannie. I'm Gracie. I'm a GW nursing student. Um, so what brings you in today? I'm here for a physical. Okay, perfect. Any concerns today? Not at all. No. So I'm going to be performing your head, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and throat exam. So I'm going to be getting really close to you. So if you have any, at all you feel any comfortable, just let me know, okay? So I'm going to begin by inspecting your scalp. I see that you have even hair distribution, no hair loss, your hair is long, thick, and black. It looks good. I don't see any dandruff. I don't see any lice. I'm going to touch you. I don't feel any indentations. I don't feel any lumps. I don't feel any bumps. I don't feel any lesions. I don't see any lice. That's good. Looks good. So now I'm going to inspect your face. I see that your face is a dark chocolate complexion. You have intact skin. You have smooth surface. You don't have any bruises, scars, or lesions, or bumps, or any type of drainage on your face. Okay. So now I'm going to check your jaw mobility. So please open for me. Please close for me. Perfect. I don't feel any crackles or um, bumps, which is good. I shouldn't feel that. And now I'm going to check your facial expressions. Please smile for me. Please frown for me. Please poof out your cheeks. Perfect. You have good facial expression, and it's symmetrical on both sides. Nothing is drooping, which is good. So now I'm going to check your sensory, okay? So please close your eyes for me. Thank you. Let me know when you feel this. I do? Good, your sensory is intact. So now I'm going to be checking your range of motion, okay? So please let me know if at all you feel any tenderness when you do this. Please move your head to the right. Please move your head to the right, to the left. Please move your head like a chicken, like a turtle. Perfect. You have full range of motion. And now um, what I'm going to ask, I'm going to check resistance. So I'm going to put my hands upon your face and do not let me press against it, okay? So push again. Good. Good. And now shrug your shoulders and don't let me push down on it, okay? Okay, good. You have good resistance. Five out of five. Now I'm going to examine your eyes. So I see that you have even hair distribution on your eyebrows and eyelashes, which is good. And now I'm looking at your scarella, which is the white part, and it's white as it should be. And now I'm going to touch so I see that your conjunctiva is pink, as it should be, and that your lacrimal sac does not have any crusting or tearing, which is good. And I'm going to touch them, okay? Let me know if you have any tenderness, okay? No tenderness. Okay, good. You should not have any tenderness. So now I'm going to assess your peripheral fields, okay? Please focus on my left shoulder, okay? And let me know when you see my fingers. I see it. I see it. I see it. Good, your peripheral fields are intact. Now I'm going to assess your accommodation. Please continue to focus on my left shoulder, okay? And let me know when you see my finger. Focus on my finger, please. Good. So you have good dilation when looking far away, and you have good constriction when you're looking up at my finger up close. So that's good. So now I'm going to assess your extraocular movement and nystagmus, which is a back and forth movement. Okay, so please focus on my finger. So you have intact extraocular muscles, and you don't have nystagmus, which is a back and forth movement in places that you should not have them, which is good. Now I'm going to check your conversion, so please follow my fingers. Good. Your eyes moved inward, so that's good. They both converge. So now I'm going to perform the cover and uncover task, okay? This is checking for the lazy eye. So please focus on the curtain behind. No lagging. Now continue to focus on the curtain behind. Good. No lagging. So you don't have a lazy eye in either eye. So now I'm going to be using the off ophthalmoscope to perform the cornea light reflection. Okay? So please focus on the curtain behind me. Okay? Thank you. Good. So light is reflected in both corneas, which is good. We want that. And now I'm going to be using this again to check the cornea red reflex. So I'm going to be getting really close. I'm going to put my hand here so I don't accidentally bump into you. And I'm going to be adjusting this. Good. Good. 
I see. Is it the same? also saw the red reflex in your eye. So now I'm going to check your pupil response, okay? So continue to focus on the curtain behind you. So your left pupil constricted. Your right pupil constricted. Good. Your left eye, left pupil constricted to consensual light. Your right pupil constricted. Good. So you have good constriction in both pupils. So I'm going to inspect the ear. So I don't see any lesions, any drainages, any blockages. Okay, I don't see any swelling. Okay, now I'm going to pop it. Do you have any tenderness? No. I don't feel any masses, any lumps, any bumps. That's good. And now I'm going to use otoscopes to look inside the ear to make sure everything's all right. Okay? And before I do so, I'm going to pull your ear up and back. Okay, to straighten that external ear canal. So I see you hepatic membrane. It's intact. I see the cone of light. I see the pearly gray, which is good. Very healthy. Again, I'm pulling up and back to straighten the ear canal. I see the pearly gray. I see the cone of light. I see the hepatic membrane is intact. That's good. So now I'm going to be performing several auditory tests. Please repeat the words that I'm saying. Baseball. Okay. Good. So you pass the whisper test. Now I'm going to be checking your bone conduction with the vapor test. Okay. I'm going to be putting this vibrating tuning fork on top of your head. Please tell me if you hear it on, when you hear it on both sides the vibration, and if you hear it stronger on one side. Okay. Okay. Do you hear it evenly? Ears. Evenly. Yeah. Evenly. Good. So you have equal bone conduction both ears. Now again, I'm going to be using this tuning fork to check um, your air conduction and your bone conduction, which is the rating test. Let me know when you stop hearing it, please. I stop. Okay. Now let me know when you stop hearing it. Okay. Okay, good. So your air conduction is greater than your bone conduction, which we want. So that's good. So again, I'm going to be performing that same test on this other let me know when you stop hearing it. I stop hearing it. Good. And you're now, please let me know when you stop hearing it. Yeah. Good. So your air conduction, again, is greater than your bone conduction, which is exactly what we want. So now I'm going to be checking for congestion. Okay, so I'm going to be touching your face. So the frontal, let me know if you feel any tenderness. No. And I don't feel any inflammation. No. I'm going to be going right underneath your cheekbone. Do you feel any Do you feel any tenderness? No. I don't feel any inflammation in the nodules. That's no. good. Okay. So now I'm going to be performing your nose exam. Okay. So I see that you, your septum is straight, which is good. And I'm looking up. No inflammation. I don't see polyps. That's good. <clears throat> so now I'm going to be looking inside your nose. Okay. So please tilt your head back. Good. Your septum does not look inflamed. I mean, it's not. It's straight. It's not crooked, which means there's no broken bones. There's no polyps. No inflammation. I don't see any nodules. Good. I don't see any drainage. Your mucus is clear, which it should be. And um, <clears throat> and now I'm going to um, wash my hands. So now I'm going to check for congestion, okay? So I'm going to press on one nostril. Please blow out for me. Okay. Please blow out for me. Good. So you're clear. You have no congestion. Do you have any problems smelling? No, I don't. No? Close your eyes for me, please. Please let me know what you smell. Cinnamon? Perfect. So you have a good snare potency, which is exactly what we want. So now I'm going to examine your mouth, okay? 
So I, think, I see that your lips are intact, symmetrical, moist, no lesions, no scars, no inflammation, no bumps. That's good. So now I'm going to use a light source to look inside your mouth. Please okay. open your mouth. Good. Your oral mucosa looks pink, no inflammation, no drainage, no pus. That's great. I see that you had some cavities filled in. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to look at your tongue. Your tongue looks dull red, um, smooth, taste buds are visible. That's good. No inflammation, no drainage, no pus. Now lift your tongue for me, please. I see the large veins. Good. No drainage, no pus, no inflammation. That's great. And now please say, ah. Ah, perfect. So I can see the uvula, it's midway, midline, as it should be. And I see that the tonsils are plus one, indicating no inflammation. And now after I'm like, done with the light source, I'm going to move your tongue from side to side with the gauze. Okay. okay. Let okay. me know if you feel any tenderness Show or discomfort. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stick your tongue out for me, please. I don't see any ulcers. That's good. No inflammation, no drainage, no pus or white patches. That's great. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. So then after that, I'm going to be feeling inside your mouth. Okay. Let me know if you feel any discomfort. Does this hurt as I push against your gums? No. And there's no bleeding, no drainage, no pus. That's great. Let me know if you have any tenderness. I don't see any pus, any ulcers, none of that. Great. I'm going to feel underneath. Your tongue, so and your hard and soft palate. Let me know if you have any discomfort. No. And there's no bleeding or drainage as I do this. So this is great. Okay. And I didn't use the tongue, the tongue depressor because I don't want to ignite that gag reflex. Off. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay. For sanitation. Okay. Now I'm going to examine your neck. Okay. I don't see any hair distribution. I don't see any lesions. I don't see any masses. I don't see any any bumps. So now I'm going to check for the tracheal line. Okay. I see that there is no tracheal deviation, which is good. You don't want that. So please sip some water for me and tilt your head back. Good. As you swallow, I see the rise and the fall of the thyroid cartilage and the cricoid cartilage, which is good. And now I'm going to be palpating the lymph nodes. I'm going to check to make sure there's no firmness, they're not immobile, and let me know if you have any tenderness. Okay. okay. So this is the preauricular, the posterior auricular, the occipital, the tonsillar, the submandibular, the submantle, the superficial cervical, the posterior cervical, the deep cervical change, which cannot be palpated because it's deep, and the supra cervical. So I'm standing behind you, GD, because I'm going to be testing your thyroid gland. I'm going to have you swallow some water for me, please. Thank you. Good. So as you swallow, I feel the rise and fall of the thyroid, which is good. It's consistency with the shape and size of both lymph nodes, which is good. No inflammation. Do you feel any tenderness? No, I don't. No, good. So now I'm going to come around you, and we're just going to do the Snellen test. So come with me. So we're 20 feet away, and we're checking your vision eye with the Snellen test, okay? So please read the smallest print possible. Could you please cover your left eye, please? B E F P O T E P. Okay, so you have 20 vision in your left eye. B E F P-O-T-E-P. Okay, you have 20-20 vision in your right eye. D-E-F-P-O-T-E-C. Okay, okay, 20-20 vision in both eyes. Good, so that concludes our examination of the head, ears, nose, mouth, and throat for today. Thank you so much. You're welcome.